from the studios of N3, we present to you. You know, good thing you talk Spider. It's a good thing you talk Spider, Roxy. I know, good thing. All those things that they said Jordan did, Jordan didn't do any of them. Those mean two little kids did it. Yeah. But how do you tell them? My well, English isn't really good. My only have like four or five words in each English sentence I say. Mm, good thing I could talk spider. Mm, yeah. Today is a new day. And a new day means a new start. I should first turn on the light. Yay, the lights are on. Now, I'm going to have to make it up to everybody. I think I have enough money to fix Aubrey's guitar. And I think I have enough money to... Uh, I don't know what I have enough money to... Oh, buy some tape to tape up my, um, my wife's work. And I guess I have a, I guess I have enough dignity to go up to this fox face guy and say that there's another girl named Allie who likes me. And then I'll say to everybody else who saw the poster, there's another girl named Laura who likes to kiss posters. That's it. <sighs> Mom, I think we're sick. Seriously? I just don't want to go to school because of what happened yesterday. It's not true. I'm sick. I don't want to go to school ever again. That's coming from Allie. The girl who loves school. It's not like you. Oh. I feel sick too because my dear car is broken because of Jordan. Who's Jordan, Allie? I don't know. It's like a bunga! We need to get you those English classes. Because this is getting annoying when you say Zigabunga. Right? Zigabunga Anderson! Who's innocent? Zigabunga Yo! Who's Yo? Yo, Yo! Okay, um. Anyways. Um, let's just hope my boss can read these reports. And I'll be off to work. Love you all. And you guys are not staying, uh, not staying home. Jordan, make sure they go to school. I don't know who Jordan is. Me neither. Bye, everybody. Love you all. And girls, you are going to school. Mom, you are going to school. Goodbye. Let's just go to school and ignore everybody who says that all you kiss posters and all you like Jeremy Fox face. Uh, uh-huh. Let's do this. Let's just at least talk to Opera. Yeah. Dad trouble. Dad trouble. Okay, let's go to school. Yeah. Bye, girls. Do you hear that? Nah, it's just an insect. I, I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do all day? Stay home, do nothing, don't touch anything. Just sit on my bed, maybe eat some toast, maybe eat some railroad bites, bites, and just stay cool. Jordan's got a call. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Jordan's got a call. Oh, oh, Jordan, you got a call. Pick it up now. Okay, I'm putting on big phone. Beep. Hello? Who is it? <laughs> Mrs. Fiery, and I'm from the Fiery Bakery. And we need one of our head chef quit because they said I was too fiery. That's weird. I know, very weird. Would you like, would you please please come? But how do you know me? Oh, your friend, the girl who helped you babysit. Jeanette? Is that her name? I don't know what her name is. It just came to mind and left. Anyway, just come to Fiery Bakery on Gluey Avenue, and it's the unit is one two nine. 
I'm going to a bakery. We're going to make bread. Bread, 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 bread. Oh, yeah, I gotta go. I'm going outside of the house. It's gonna be bigly for me. Cheer me on! <laughs> This is Fireys. Fireys. Yep. Alright, alright, where did the pizza go? Why, why, why? Where am I getting the money from? Oh no! Uh, yo, yo, Emily. Yeah? So, what's wrong with your mom? Oh, I don't know. She's never been like this. It's just a day. And Goose knows acting weird. Your cat? Yeah, he's acting so weird. Why? Because he never, he almost never sleeps. Or, he's always sleeping, but right now he just doesn't go to sleep. Where is the pizza? You left it in the oven, Mom. Oh, yeah. But, but, I don't, what, what, but the oven's closed. You're supposed to open the oven, Mom. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I'm here to help out you, help you out. Because your mom called me, and she did? I thought she didn't, she just screamed out loud and she didn't know, she didn't know how to use a phone. Anyways, I'm here to help you. Ay ay ay! And my mom used to talk in a really strong Italian voice. That's just saying ay ay ay, and she's not even saying anything in Italian. Oh, uh. I mean, maybe she's having a bad day. But there's no, there's, there was no customers coming in. Well, maybe that's why. Anyways, I think I'm gonna get a Goose Note checkup after. Well, let's check on that pizza that Mom supposedly put on the oven. That's some burnt pizza. Uh -huh. Now what's Bobby gonna do? <gasps> Make more pizza. Mom, you gotta make more pizza. You burned the last one. Ah! Mom, you gotta make pizza. The person, Bobby wants it for his, to just, he's hungry, man. Bobby wants it. Uh. All right, I think I hear a customer. Just set the pizza oven to five minutes and the pizza will be about ready then. Don't go two minutes over, or else the whole place will explode or set on fire. The, our pizza is really, really delicate, and if it does that, it'll just, like, catch on fire really quickly. Okay, just go attend to your customer. I'm coming, Miss Vera. Hmm, the pizza feels kind of cold. I got it. Maybe, um, I can set it to one minute more. One minute more. No, 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 no. I'm the master of making the pizza. Set it to 20 minutes more. My daughter's not the master of making pizza. I am. So set it to 20 minutes more. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm, what should I do while I wait? Ring, 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 ring. Better go answer that. Oh, hey, Jordan. I'm gonna come back when the pizza's ready. Mr. Bobby's waiting outside the building. And there's his baby girl. She's really, really loud. Ow, my ears hurt. <laughs> 